Hello everyone! Welcome to my bedroom and we're going to go over my bedroom bookcases. This one is Gretel and I made her a long time ago. A long time ago. Probably 2000s I think and she's completely all just handmade. She's just like a little rag doll and all her little clothes are made by me. I did all of it, designed all of it, and she's just my little, my little Gretel. And then we have the Mad Hatter, which I think is just the cutest one. And uh, again, all handmade, just a little rag doll, just made out of fleece and felt and what have you. His little eyes, if you can see him, that's his little eyes and they're just shiny. I put special stuff on them to make them a little shiny and his hat is completely made by me comes off there you go and that is the mad hat I'm not sure if you know what's in here but if you know anything about me you know I'm a Tim Burton freak and so these are based on um, not really Tim Burton. I think he had something to do with it. But it's James and the Giant Peach. My little James and the Giant Peach collection. And um, that's a spider. Little Smith spider. And the wormy. Can you see that? Did I jiggle that too much? And then um, the little centipede guy. Which I think he's so cute. But that's my James and the Giant Peach set. Okay, here's shelf two. And we're going to get into more of the books on this section. And the first one is my Zachariah Stitchens book, which I really haven't even read yet, but I wanted it. And so when I do decide I want to read it, there it is. This is um, my girl crush. I have the biggest girl crush on Lisa Welchel. I have always wanted to be Lisa Welchel. I wanted to be Blair on The Facts of Life so bad. And, and I continue I have watched every episode of Survivor last season because she was on it and I've never watched Survivor ever before so I owe it all to her but I just absolutely love her my essential German grammar guide one day I will go to Germany I'm not sure how I'm going to get there but we'll let the universe decide that and when we do I'll be ready and then I don't know if you remember this um Peter Walsh and I can't remember what show it was on it was one of those TLC shows where they um get rid of all your clutter and stuff so I don't really have that anymore I used to be kind of cluttery but not so much anymore since I've had to move like 50 million thousand times it's it's harder to keep a hold of clutter when you have to pack it up so that's that the next thing is my little Nightmare Before Christmas, um, like a little film strip, a candle thing. It's just got tea lights in it for, in case the, um, in case the electricity goes off. Gosh, those are packed in there. My, um, Essential Lenny Bruce. My Poppy Z Bright Wormwood. I love Poppy Z Bright books. Love and love and love. But that goes back to 1995 for... Um, Lost Souls, probably one of my favorites. My absolute favorite is Ex Exquisite Corpse, and I don't even know if that's even in this one, but love Poppy Z. Bright. Um, what else? Adkin Shopping Guide. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, my Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy book by Tim Burton. Um, <laughs> this one's funny. Can you read it? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have not figured out the answer to that yet, so we might have to leave that out and reread that. Um, this one's actually really fascinating. It, you kind of can diagnose yourself and some of your major issues, and that's pretty fascinating. Um, this one is, I think in the first video I mentioned Colin. This is the very first book that he wrote, and again, poetry. And very good. I just love that book. Um, recurring theme here. Let's just do this one. Um, yeah, whatever. And this one, back in mm, 2000s, 
I loved to watch, um, oh, I can't even remember what it was called, but Rhonda Brighton was on it, and it was, let me see if it's even in here, no, oh my gosh, it was like a house, and all these women would live in it, and then they would try to fulfill their dreams, ugh, I can't remember it, ugh, that's gonna bug me the rest of the night, but that's the first shelf, and it really speaks a lot about my, um, my self improvementing kind of lifestyle. So, <laughs> shelf three is kind of the fun shelf and really kind of the last shelf in this book series or this book sh shelf series. But um, this one is my Susanna Oriahan. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one is awesome for when I design um, figures. Oh, look, patterns. Probably the patterns, oh, hello, <laughs> probably the patterns I've been looking for. But this book is really cool for making polymer clay dolls and things like that. And another one by her as well is Designing the Doll. Anybody who's a doll maker probably already knows these books, but they're so awesome. And then just chock full with like uh, really super cool um, instructional things. Um, Anatomy of a Doll, again, also by Susanna. Just another one that is just awesome. Awesomes, awesomes. Uh, my Art dark, art Doll Quarterly, that's easy for me to say, um, magazine, which, you know, one day maybe I'll be in that. Who knows? Uh, Liquitex, How to Mix Colors. Uh, this one, ooh. This one is especially made by me, and this one contains some art stuff that I I think is like cool and whatnot. So I just flip through and show you some of the images. I don't know, this was like 90s, so you know, my grunge. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Ice storm. I have a nose fetish and that to me is very sexy. <laughs> it's very sexy. And my, I can't, you probably can't see it, but this is Trent Reznor. And I did it on tracing paper with colored pencils. I am obsessed with Trent Reznor. And my girls, Mina and Chloe. And this is a little Mina shrinky dink. You're like, whatever. Okay, sexy. This is my drawing of what I find attractive. <laughs> um, yes, I, I find that attractive. And I wish I could draw, do a comic book based on him. And I don't know, just haven't made that happen yet, but I love him. And again, Trent, oh, glare. Let's see if I can get that. Um, this one is done with coffee, just um, a piece of canvas and just done with coffee. Trent, it's I did too long. If I could cut that in half and shrink it up, it'd be perfect. A little trendy. And Mina and Chloe, again, just some things that I did. Paintings, paintings. This one is actually hanging in my bedroom wall right now. That one's hanging in my craft room. Bored yet? Sorry. I'm just trying not to. Um, this is actually a coffee table that I painted back in 94 when I was at my most creative and it's actually a game board and you follow it around and if you um, see this little guy right here this is based on a Lenny Bruce cartoon cartoon called Thank You Mask Man and this is the Mask Man and <laughs> I think the little boy is around here somewhere I'm not sure but he'd always go Thank You Mask Man Thank You Mask Man and I love that it just made me happy this is Aben, and Aben is made out of, I think, burlap and muslin, and he's all painted. Everything you see here is either tea, coffee, or pencil. His ear is actually pencil, too, right here, and he was actually stuffed and probably, oh my gosh, four foot tall, and there's another picture of him right there. Doesn't he look real? That's Aben. And then this one, I know, obsession, obsession. This is, 
Um, I think it was from the Disney cartoon Pocahontas. It's very blurry, but I took that doll and turned it into Trent Reznor from, oh goodness, what was the name of the video that he was in? Uh, I can't remember. Again, my perfect drug. That's what it is. From the perfect drug video, and I turned it into a Trent Reznor doll. So... Yes, I do obsess with it. This one is my sculpture of Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, and it's all made out of clay. Busted by now, though. I don't even have it anymore. This one is Sickness and Spooky. Also, this one, mostly like a little, they're tiny, little lapel pin size. And then my little goth imps that I made. These are also made out of clay and little boa hairs. They're very cute. And my first marionette, this is the actual sketch, and then I made a marionette version of him. And then, again, my perfect man that I had to sculpt because I cannot find him. Right there. I sculpted him. Looks real, though, but I sculpted him. And that's that. And then I have my Rocky Horror Picture little book. And it's basically the whole screenplay. And how to write screenplays? I don't know why I have this. When I wanted to be a stand-up comic, this was the first book that I ever got. And I thought this was awesome. Just awesome. And just learning about, you know, life on the road and stuff. And just amazing. I just love this book. And I will never let this book go. This is my best book. Um... Yeah, I wish I knew um, many things, and one day I'll discover them, and we will not have this problem anymore. Um, hmm, I might want to leave that one out too, right? <clears throat> I don't even think I've read this one. This is when I wanted to get back into stand-up, and I'm one of those, whatever I want to do, I read about it until I can't read about it anymore, and then I probably really act on it, but I just like reading about it my the shooting script for Napoleon Dynamite you can see that I think I want to be a film writer I don't know why I I don't I don't know why another Lenny Bruce cuz I like Lenny Bruce so that's another one um, again I like to read about it I very rarely like to do it this one was my sister used to work at a bookstore and they would go to like these I don't know. I don't want to say conventions because I'm really not conventions. But this one was uh, My Brother Sam, and it was the unedited version by his brother. This is an awesome book. Love it. Um, How to Be a Stand-Up Comic. This is also that first book I showed you that I love and will never let go. This is another one. Love this one. This one is so good. So good. I love this book. And my Woody Allen love it absolutely love Woody Allen love it I don't care what he did with his daughter stepdaughter or whatever she is I love Woody Allen <laughs> yeah uh, University of Success hmm probably should leave that one out too I really should read a lot of these books <laughs> it might help me um, especially this one yes yes Journal. This is a good journal. 1996 too. Hmm. I don't know. This is a good journal. Let me just tell you, this is a good one. Um, uh, Sign Language by Jerry Seinfeld. Yes. To encourage my dreams. I will go here one day. And I will meet my family. I know I will. My kindred spirits and stuff. Grammar and punctuation, yes. You see it, I know you see it, and you're going, why do you have it? Because I freaking love Russell Brand. Look at those lips, dear God. Look at those eyes and that nose. <clears throat> yes, yes. Take that beard away, don't want any part of it. But this is a really good book, and if you have any like issues with Russell Brand, read this book. Just read this book, it's so good, it's so good. I love Russell Brand. I think he's so funny. That's it. That is the bookshelf in my bedroom.